Yo, what's going on guys, man? Welcome back. Today we're going to be using the new assault rifle that they've just added into the game. I believe it's called the Growl 556, the Gru, the Growl. I, I don't know, man. Either way, this is the other new weapon that they added into the game. You guys know they added the UMP, which I dropped a video on yesterday. But this one is the assault rifle. And honestly, this is probably better. Like, I used it yesterday. I used it this morning and dropped a nuke, which you guys will see in this video. You know the vibes, man. Come on now. But this thing's kind of insane. I'm just saying, like, this is definitely, like, the setup you want to use with it. Like, the monolithic suppressor, the barrel, all of that. The 50 round mags, the rear grip. This is exactly what you need. And the no stock as well. It definitely goes crazy. I'm going to just say that, man. Yo, before we get into that, if you guys could drop an early like on the video, that would be appreciated. And also, if you guys want a shout out at the end of one of my videos and make sure you hit that bell to turn on post notifications man and let me know in the comments which one you prefer the assault rifle or the ump joint because me personally this assault rifle is kind of fire <laughs> Right, so we're back on some good old rust, man. I'm hoping today the vibes are a little bit different because you guys know yesterday, man, it was just sweats. Sweats and sweats only. I was losing my mind low-key, but one thing I have got to say with this weapon, which is pretty sick in my opinion, is the fact that when you change the barrel on it, it changes the iron sight. So this is probably the best barrel in terms of stats, but the iron sights, yeah, I don't, I don't really know about. Wait, hold up. I don't really know about the iron sights, but I think the last barrel has the best iron sights, but it really depends what you're going for. And this one still has, like, usable iron sights, so there's not really a point in, I don't know, ruining my stats just to get a better iron sight. Do you know what I mean? Like, this is still, like, pretty good. It's just not the best. What do you know about this spot? What do you know about this spot, lads? I mean, definitely do know about it. Bro, that guy... <laughs> oh, he knows I'm here. Why did we count you AV'd on Rust? Like, this is just... This is just fantastic, man. They all know where I am. Sick! Yeah, my rust is cool. I would love to have like a noob lobby on this just to see, you know, how it really is in comparison to, I don't know, playing GBs. Do you know what I mean? Because look, now they got a VTOL, even though I didn't even die for ages and they're not even that good. But my teammates, however, my teammates are probably garbanzo. Yeah, it's looking like, it's looking extremely, extremely slow, which I, I don't, I don't want to put myself through this. Okay, all right. So he tried triple jump shotting me. So look at my team, right? What's going on here then? Like, I'm just trying to figure it out. Do you know what I mean? That's all I'm trying to figure out. Like, I'm just trying to see, like, what are the vibes right now? So my teammate's got two kills. Oh, look at my squad! People wonder why I get my... No, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. <laughs> Playing solo might be the worst thing ever in this game. I'm being dead serious, man. With the skill-based matchmaking, it just sometimes just doesn't work. Like, sometimes I can be coming up against people that aren't that good, but my teammates will all be terrible just to balance it out. It doesn't make any sense, man. But I heard one thing, and that's that the perks have changed. You actually have Kill Chain on now and Ghost. Like, they've moved some perks around. So obviously, when Ghost and Kill Chain was together, there was, like, no point in using, like, anything other than Ghost. Do you know what I mean? So Ghost was damn near needed so like no one was using anything else so they've moved some perks around just to add more variety and now kill chains in the first slot so i'm trying it out right now but low-key yeah i've joined this game extremely late this is why i play ground war though to be fair just because i feel safer in that man i don't mean in terms of oh they're a little bit more newbie which they probably are but i don't know i just find it easier to find a lobby that i can just sit in and play rather than this where i'm joining late i don't know what's going on bro like, what is that, man? Like, people are really doing this. It's all a bit mad. Like, these lobbies are just, like, all over. Oh, that time it was impeccable. Yeah, man, it feels like Season 2 has a lot more content in comparison to Season 1. Like, Season 1 kind of just went like that, in my opinion, in terms of the content, not the actual time it took to get to the next season. So, it's nice. I don't know. I feel like we've got a bunch of stuff in this one. Like, it seems like it anyway. They've changed a lot of stuff. Which makes sense because I feel like a lot of stuff needed changing, so I kind of it's kind of like about time that they've done something like this. But you guys know what I'm saying. You guys know what I'm saying, man. I'm just kind of. Can I get my reload off, please? Like, please, just let me do that. Yeah, man. I'm just kind of happy that they've added like a bunch of stuff into the game. Get him. Let me get this UAV out, bro. I don't know how to play Garbonzo anymore. I mean, in the beta, I would say like I played it more often than not, but even still, I had no idea what I was doing realistically. I had no clue. Alright, so I got kill chain on, so realistically. Never flip him man! Oh my teammate just got an advance as well. That could have been a whole vibe. <laughs> He's probably rocking kill chain though. So kill chain allows you to get your streaks off of streaks, which is pretty mad if you think about it. So if I'm rocking like, I don't know, VTOL, which I'm doing right now, and then my VTOL gets killed, then basically I'll be able to get my advanced off of my VTOL, which is pretty cool. But like people wouldn't use it in the past. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, you're nice. You're nice sitting in that window. You're a G. People wouldn't use it or stopped using it just, just because, uh, like, there was no point because you had to rock go. But, yeah, now you can rock kill chain and ghost. It's a little bit crazy, especially in groundwork. <laughs> I got it! There we go! Vibes! <laughs> With the new AR, man, yeah, man, I had to camp for it because everyone's a sweat right now, but yeah, this weapon is actually sick. It might be one of the best weapons in the game right now, to be fair. Just because of the amount of... You get so much mobility with it. Like, even though it's an AR, you get so much, like, mobility. It feels like a sub, but then you've got the range of an AR as well. So, yeah, like, they've kind of made a really good weapon. I would say this is better than the UMP. Or what's supposed to be the UMP in this game. Because, yeah, I don't, I don't know about that anymore. Loki might have to just call this new kin, to be fair. Because he's not too much going on. Oh. Not too much going on. Yeah, once you get the 50 round mag on this joint, it's a whole vibe. Let me call in this nuke real quick. I've, got, I've barely got any ammo anyway. Bang, bang. Thank you very much. The grout? What's it called? I don't know, man. But like, I was just playing just before I started like actually recording my video. You can see the lines on my forehead because I'm a do-rag and stuff. But yeah, we managed to get the nuke. I'm happy now. I'm happy. I was trying to get it all last night, but it wasn't happening. It wasn't happening at all. But yo! Make sure you drop a like on the video, man. Nuke with the new growl, the new assault rifle in Modern Warfare. I don't know if it's pronounced growl. I actually have no idea. But that's nice, though. We got the nuke. How do you get those uh, gold clan tags, though? I don't. I really don't know. But we stopped them from winning anyway, so I'm kind of hyped. Uh, yeah. yeah, man, it's cool. If I did a bunch of stuff into this game, I'm actually kind of hyped. What? I don't know where he stopped on that quad, but it kind of scared me. There we go. Bro, this is the vibe to be at when you've got Delta, man. Usually, they all, like, push up from mid, but, yeah, it's looking kind of slow. Yeah, man, it feels good that they've added a bunch of stuff into the game. These new maps as well, which is pretty sick. I'm actually yet to play the new ground one map, so I really don't know how that is, to be fair. I don't know if it's good, bad, whatever. I actually have no idea. Let me get this UAV out. Get hit. What in the world was that? Bro, what are you doing? Maybe I should let him get that. Get him. I'll push up a little bit. The only reason I feel confident pushing up is just because this weapon feels like feels like uh, an SMG, which is weird. There ain't no way this should feel like an SMG, bro. Especially with the range that it has. It barely has any recoil. And this is a pretty crazy weapon that they've added into the game for sure. Like, a lot of people were saying that they didn't like it at first just because of... I don't know. Without attachments, it was still pretty cool. But it wasn't like the best. Now, low-key, yeah, yeah. It competes. It competes for sure. There's one. Bro. I really want to call in my veto right now to help me get the, uh, the advance, but yeah, uh, my teammate's got his in. Okay, uh, let's put it there, I guess. I don't know. There we go. All right, we got the advance. That's what kill chain does. Get him. What in the world? All right, let me know if you feel the same way, yeah, because I could be tripping. But sometimes I prefer the dots over the arrows. And the reason why is because with the dots, you can tell what level they're on. Whereas when you haven't got the dots and you've just got the arrows, like you don't know what level they're on at all. Like you don't know where they're going to come from, whether they're below you, above you, on the same level. It kind of throws you off, which is weird because you, you think the dots are all... No, wait. You'd think the dots are always worse, right? But I don't I don't know, man. Sometimes I prefer the dots. But realistically, if you know how you're playing the game, you know which way they're going to be facing. Which I know is the advantage of the arrows. Like, you know exactly where they're looking. You know if you can challenge it and stuff like that. I understand it completely. Don't worry. But most of the time, I kind of know that. It's kind of a given. I don't know. Sometimes I feel like I prefer the dot. Get in here. Okay. Oh, can someone tell me where the stairs are at? Oh, the stairs are here. All right. Oh, that was so many flipping people. Yeah, man, I actually love this AR, though. It, it just makes it top tier because of the mobility, though. Like, that's the main thing about it. It competes with all the others in terms of, like, everything. But then the mobility just makes it crazy. Like, I'm running around like it's a flipping SMG, bro, and it makes no sense.
this whole vibe, boys. I wish the game wasn't about to end because we're about to secure the advanced again. Sick. Flipping lovely.